Would you like a cup of coffee? And how do you prefer it, with or without milk? Do you know the Ukrainian who opened the first coffee shop in Europe and innovated adding milk and honey to it? Our suburb gaster to know that their coffee market is the second largest market uh, in the world after the oil one. Finland is the leader for consumption of their coffee per capita. The average Finland citizen consumes 12 kilograms of coffee per year. Ukrainians like to drink uh, it as well. Recently, their consumption of coffee increased by 23% in Ukraine. But when did it all start? And uh, do you know their incredible story of their fearless Ukrainian Cossack? who introduced coffee to Europe. His name was Yuri Kulchitsky, and he was born in Western Ukraine. He became a Cossack and uh, was captured by Turks. Overall, he spent 15 years in the Turkish imprisonment, uh, learning their language and their customs. Then he was sold out and moved to Vienna. He was a polyglot. He was fluent in German, Polish, Hungarian and Turkish. He was working as an interpreter in Vienna in 1683 when the Turks besieged the city. The people were suffering from hunger and defenders were ready to surrender. Seeing this, Kulchitsky volunteered uh, to contact Duke Charles de Lorraine and pretending to be a Turk a merchant managed to escape the besieged city and he managed to bring letters uh, in the need for help to the Duke of Lorraine, who promises his support. Kulchitsky successfully returned to Vienna uh, with the answer from the Duke and soon with the help of lies, the siege was broken and the battle for Vienna was won. The city was rescued and Kulchitsky was considered a national hero by grateful townspeople of Vienna. The city council awarded him with a considerable sum of money. They also gave them him a house. And moreover, Kulchitsky asked to take large amounts of coffee uh, found in their um, captured camp of uh, Turkish army. He opened the first uh, coffee house in Vienna in 1683. The name was House Under the Blue Bottle. He served uh, Turkish coffee, but it wasn't very popular at first. Then he added milk and honey to it and uh, got what we call it now Viennese coffee. In Vienna there is a monument to him and uh, the street named in his honor. He was always dressed uh, in Turkish outfit when serving the drink to his customers. Lviv boasts a long-standing coffee tradition of its own. Uh, there is a monument to Kulchitsky in Lviv as a tribute to the man who taught Europe to drink coffee. Come to Kiev and I will show you the best coffee shops here. Let me take you to an unforgettable journey of Discovery Kiev. Experience local culture firsthand and explore Ukraine in an immersive way.